A little deeper into the turn. That's an impressive move right there. Got a huge launch on the corner. Out, out, exit of the oh, corner. into the wall. It's the 22 of Logano. The 11 put the 22 of Logano into the wall as it came off a of four. And there's some heavy smoke out of the 22. The left rear tire. Oh, we... oh, the left rear looks like it's going flat quickly. A lot of damage to Joey Logano. He's going to go up into the wall. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. We're going to Homestead again, so uh, that was what we tried to accomplish this, uh, you know, this weekend. Um, We've got a conflict down here. We've got a couple of crew members down here. Denny Hamlin is arguing, fighting with a couple of crew members. So it's Denny Hamlin, and it looks like some of the shell pins oil guys. I don't see. Okay, here's Joey Logano. He is John with Denny Hamlin. L Logano and Hamlin, some security people. Chris Gabehart, the crew chief for Denny Hamlin, trying to keep him away. Logano is reaching in. Logano and Denny Hamlin, they had the dust up on the racetrack. Now crew members and Chris Gabehart, the crew chief, holding Denny Hamlin back. And now Joey Logano's crew guys holding him back from each other down here as they have broken out. At one time, there was crew members and, and folks all over the ground down here as crew members got mixing it up and got dusting it up. Look back on what happened on pit road. These two just discussing it, it looks like. And then it escalated. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. hey, hey stop, stop, stop. A little bit of an extra shove there by Logano as he walked away, and Hamlin wasn't going to have it. All this from this on track action we saw earlier. Off of turn four, Denny and the 22 getting together. Denny squeezing that 22 into the fence. Logano came back and finished eight. Green white checker, attempt number one. Contact Gordon and Kozlowski. to the All outside clear. of Johnson for the race All lead. Clear. All clear. Jeff Gordon may have a flat tire. Yeah, he does. He's Gordon ball, he's spinning, around. turn four. We'll spin Caution is out. We'll have another attempt at a green light checker. Jeff Gordon was shown the black flag. He's turning oh. Clint Boyer into the wall, collecting Joey Logano. Caution flag is out. Alvarola slides in. Did the leader take the white flag before the caution came out? Limit to the garage straight, right? And mayhem in the late laps here at Phoenix. You saw the first incident that cut the tire with Jeff Gordon, put him into the wall. He basically waited on Clint Boyer to come around and took him out. All this happened right in front of Brad Keselowski, and he was racing Joe Logano, and I was afraid they were going to get caught up, or, or Brad was going to get caught up into it. He somehow got through it. Jeff has been summoned to the NASCAR hauler. 
for a post-race visit. Well, they said they were let them have at it. That's having at it right there. That's a year's worth of frustration. Oh, conflict. The crews are at it. And somewhere in the middle of that is Jeff Gordon. opportunity at this. Can't really blame him. That's stupid. Tempers have boiled over here in Phoenix after late race contact between Jeff Gordon and Flint Boyer. And then a payback. And there are going to be a lot of visitors to the uh, NASCAR transporter after the race. Boyer's crew chief, Boyer, Gordon's crew chief, Gordon. I'll bet the team owners are in there too. Cost Boyer a lot. It was going to be third points, just a with few still points an opportunity. Behind, yeah, with an opportunity, just a few points behind Jimmy Johnson. He was maybe seven or eight points as they were running behind Jimmy Johnson. So we had shown you the replays of the initial contact between Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer racing for fifth position. Then this, the payback. As Brad Keselowski, the championship leader, right in front of him, finds enough room to get by. Darrell Waldron in the fourth corner now. Wallace comes down low again. Oh, he puts the tire. Waldron loses it as they touch. Waldron spins it backwards across the grass as they come to the white flag. No, the yellow flag comes out. The yellow flag comes out. And that means that the lap is not going to count. But can Waltrip get it going? He's still got his engine running, Paul. He feels it. He touches. We see we touched. Darrell's trying to get the car back. But no, it's around. We see him turn back like Kyle Petty did. But the car is already around. He hits the brakes and simply lets the car come to a halt. Picks up $200,000. But this was earlier. As you can see, the tempers are hot when there's that much money on the line as quite a fight broke out just outside of the winner's circle here. Officials and other team members moved in trying to break it up. Went on for just a few minutes. So and the white flag is out. One lap to go. This is the last lap. Stand by for a Two of the greatest fiddling here, fidgeting with first place. Passing some of the strikers in the last lap. Trying to take it home. It's all come down to this. Out of turn two, Donnie Allison in first. Where will Kale make his move? He comes to the inside. Donnie Allison throws the block. Kale hits him. He slides. Donnie Allison slides. They hit again. They climb into the turn. They're hitting the wall. They're head on the wall. They slide down to the inside. Let's watch those third place cars. They're out of it. Who is going to win it? Coming down. Third place. They're coming around for the finish between A.J. Boyd and Richard Petty. Down the back straightaway come the leaders now. Two cars are out. In the back stretch are the leaders. Watching for the leaders to, they're still up in turns three and four. The leaders are up in turns three and four. Coming down, Richard Petty is now pulling out in front. Darrell Waltrip is in second. A.J. Boyd is in third. Here they come. Waltrip trying to slingshot. Petty is out in front. Richard Petty, 
the great master has just recorded his 186th career and, and there's a fight between Cale Yarborough and Donnie Allison. The tempers overflowing. They're angry. They know they have lost. And what a bitter defeat. A couple of very hard men, very hardly upset. And Bobby Allison has stopped by his brother to help. There's Bobby Allison's car, number 50. It's difficult to tell from here, but whatever happened shouldn't really have happened. Cale Yarbrough goes out of control. He slams into the side of Donnie Allison's automobile. They both start to slide. It looks like they're going to slide down to the bottom of the track. They come up on the banking. They hit again. They are now out of control completely. Cale still fighting, still trying to gain control. But the car turns look, around, the worst thing that can happen. Look at his arms going in there, really trying, flailing away at the wheel to keep this car under control, but there's no hope. Into the wall. At better than 190 miles an hour. A thousand feet, they slide and scrape and bang along the wall, come down to the inside. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.